By harnessing the power of the immune system, we've got a real chance to improve human health. At the Mulligan Institute, we're working on cutting edge research across the areas of cancer, asthma, and allergy, infectious disease, gut health, and brain health. We actually made some similar discoveries that really changed the way we understand disease, treated patients with our cutting edge technologies, commercialized some of our discoveries, and actually brought economic benefit to New Zealand. And we've trained in fantastic research leaders of the future that are actually in the hospitals and in the universities of our country. We're entrepreneurial, we try to make a difference and try to do something different than no one else is able to do. Cancer immunotherapy is exciting because it's harnessing this very strong power of the immune system and directing it specifically towards our cancer cells. And we've seen amazing success in many types of cancers so far, particularly in blood cancers, where we're seeing patients surviving for decades longer than it was anticipated. And we hope that we can, in the future, have curative treatments for all types of cancers. What we understand in terms of allergic responses would be useful at two levels to treat allergies and also to use as a vaccine for parasite infections. The holy grail would be to have a personalized treatment. The hope would be to be able to manipulate your immune system so you are not longer allergic to that particular allergen, but your immune system is still effective. We're very interested in the different layers of disease that are affected by the energetics of the brain, by the way in which the brain uses energy, and that occurs in cancer, it occurs in neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, and then of course there's the autoimmune diseases and the depressive diseases. So the future of gut health, I think, is to actually understand in a very deeply how the gut microbiome is impacting the systemic immune system and also all the associated diseases. I don't think there's any disease right now or chronic disease that is not associated with some kind of uh, dysfunction of the gut microbiome. Our research at the Mulligan Institute is important, not just for the scientific benefit, but also for New Zealanders. So we're trying to actively translate our research. That means we're setting up clinical trials, we're developing the clinical systems and the safety protocols that mean we can deliver those types of treatments uh, for New Zealanders in the future, not just in our trials, but more routinely. The future of human health is very exciting. For the first time ever, we've actually got the true tools to really change the way patient outcomes can occur and actually bring back their body to balance, bring back their body to good health. One of the distinctive parts of the, of the Mulligan Institute is that its independence and that it's actually supported quite significantly by donors and charities. It means that we can do exploratory research that other people can't do. Sometimes it fails, but sometimes you really do get a breakthrough and you can really change the game.